more wounded are being carried to a makeshift clinic in western Mosul. Another child is brought in. She's either been separated in the chaos of the fighting or her family has been killed. Little Zahra has shrapnel wounds on her hands and legs. Medics say most children they receive are in severe shock and pain from their injuries and are suffering psychological trauma. After receiving initial treatment, she's sent to another field hospital established south of Mosul. Every patient here has been wounded in the fight against ISIL to retake Iraq's second city. I tried to escape six times, and when I finally managed to get out, I was wounded by a bullet. ISIL fired at me when I ran towards Iraqi forces. The UN has documented the killings of hundreds of people as they tried to escape from ISIL. Witnesses say people are also being killed in their hundreds by mortars from Iraqi forces and coalition airstrikes on Mosul. A missile landed on us. I carried my brother all the way out, but some of my family members remain under the rubble. The number of dead and injured has taken the Iraqi forces by surprise. Car bombs, mines, booby traps, snipers and shelling are all adding to civilian casualties. The most painful thing to see are the children and women injuries. Most of the cases come from either sniper fire or live bullets. ISO targets these families as they are fleeing. The wounded are moved from field clinics to a field hospital in Mosul. From there, cases are transferred to a coalition-run hospital and the most serious are brought to Erbil. It's a matter of a few minutes to save a life when someone is injured, but in densely populated Mosul, people are being wounded every single day. Iraqi forces say their strategy is to minimize civilian casualties, but in densely populated Mosul, and it is clear around us, that does not always work. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Erbil, Northern Iraq.